from pretty girls to spoons, or for the young in heart, spooning. Young or old, we all know what spooning means, but few of us know that the expression originates from a rustic Welsh custom of making and giving wooden spoons as love tokens. Here at the Pinto collection of wooden bygones, let's look at some typical relics of this custom dating from the 17th century. Love spoons were never substitutes for engagement rings, for example. They were more like love letters from tongue-tied young men, the acceptance of which meant that courting could begin. Bearing in mind they were carved, probably with only a pocket knife and by candle or rushlight, the craftsmanship is quite remarkable. In this 18th century exhibit, the window-type panel would originally have contained initials or an inscription. The most commonly used symbolism was the heart motif, and a pair of commas, as in this beechwood spoon, is the symbol which the ancients used for nostrils through which the soul was supposed to escape at death. So the message here was probably, I am yours, heart and soul, in life and death. Twin bowls like this would have meant, we two are like one. Love spoons, of course, are only part of a collection of wooden relics that have taken Edward and Mrs. Pinto many years to compile. But apart from the workmanship, the spoons have a great sentimental value. This, after all, was a labor of love. These chained love spoons, by the way, were carved from a single block of sycamore three feet long. A Charles I carved basting stick or spoon made of pine for ladling up the fat with which to baste the roast. In this case, presented by a Mr. Webster to his host to baste his wife with. Finally, a massive affair with 31 small spoons. It was said then that a number of spoons sprouting from one stem indicated a desire for a large family. No comment.